This tip is about as old as the moon itself, yet I've never found anyone who knows what this is. I'm sure they exist, I've just never bumped into anybody. And I've been bumping into bodies for 33 years in this industry. Now this body's a lot older than that, but that's how long I've been doing this. This tip is called blend if. B-L-E-N-D-I-F, blend if. Blend if something. Now, before I get into blend if, I'm going to utilize what you've already learned, and that's why I'm sticking in this week's bonus tip, because we're going to use blending modes and layer masks before we apply blend if. Let me show you what I've got. I've got a photo uh, of the moon, uh, the blood moon exactly, uh, over a, a home that was on a on a on a big uh, side of a desert hill, and uh, below that, I actually have uh, another phoenix. Awatuki suburb of Phoenix uh, photograph. Beautiful image. It was also taken the same night as the blood moon. Now, unfortunately, the blood moon wasn't in this direction, which was a beautiful sight. No, the blood moon was was actually over there, but, but I grabbed it in two separate photos, and I'm going to combine them here in one. Legal? Sure. Ethical? Of course. Uh, artsy? You bet. So here we go. Let me take the top layer. I'm going to work on it alone, so I want to hide my eyes from whatever else I could be doing. And I'm going to do Command Plus, Command Plus, Command Plus to zoom in, and then hold the space bar and click and drag to move over. Now I'm going to use the, the regular lasso tool. We did this in bonus tip week one. And just click, 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 and right there, oh man, that's going to be so hard to select. Not if I know this trick. So I'm just going to just generally select the moon. What I'm really doing is saying, I want the moon. But in fact, I want the opposite. Select the inverse. Don't invert. That would make it a negative. I'm going to say select the inverse. And now I've got everything except the moon. I've got everything selected except the moon on that layer. And I'm going to add a layer mask. Now, because I had a selection, it thought I wanted to keep what I selected and delete the rest. Oh, shoot, no. Undo. Because there's a trick when you add a layer mask. We've probably seen it. And that is hold the Option key when you add the layer mask, and it'll do the inverse. That's what I'm doing. I want, meh, the moon. There, it's beautiful, isn't it? You'd buy this art print now. No, you wouldn't. Because we have to apply a blending mode. And I'm going to apply the blending mode probably that uh, lightens in some way. Ah, I'm going to say lighter color. I'm close. Command or Control L levels. And I can say I don't want the dark stuff. It's all turning darker. That is pretty good. Now, I don't want to go too far. I'm losing my moon. But I just want to knock out that blue stuff and I'm basically turning it into black stuff. And if it's black stuff, then the layer mode called lighter color ignores it. Check. Move tool. Let's move my moon where I'd like it to be. It's beautiful, except there's a problem. Any child in second grade science class could tell you, you will never find clouds on the other side of the moon from Earth. No, no, no. The clouds are always on this side of the moon. Welcome to our trip. The, the tip, the bonus tip uh, of the day is this. If I double click on the layer icon, I will see something called blend if. Now, you got to be careful where you click. Because if you double click on the mask, it doesn't happen. If you double click on the name of the layer, it doesn't happen. You've only got a couple of choices. And one is to click way to the right, way beyond the name. That'll work. But if you just want to want to aim and get there quickly, double click on the artworks layer icon, thumbnail. There it is. Now look at blend if. It says blend if something happens. And you can get really specific with this color by color. But blend if, and you've got two topics, this layer and that layer. This layer is this layer. And that layer is the underlying layer, the underlying layer, the background layer. And what I'm going to tell it is the underlying layer has some dark stuff in it. It has some bright stuff in it. It has some medium tones in it. But look, this is amazing. 
I'm going to say let the underlying layer blend, bleed back through the upper layer. The underlying layer is the layer with the clouds on it. Look what happens as I drag. Watch the moon as I drag. And soon enough, the clouds are allowed to bleed through. No magic masking necessary. That is awesome. But if you were to take a very close look, you would see that my clouds are kind of choppy. And that is the magic of this little Hershey's chocolate. You know when you get the Hershey's chocolate, it's covered with silver and it's got that little thing you pull. Well, it looks like that little thing is still stuck on my chocolate. I'm missing my silver, but that little, that's not a little, a little pull. That's a splitter. And you can get a more smooth effect on the edges of Blend If if you know that you can hold the Alt or the Option key and split that little chocolate kiss into two parts. And it smooths the transition on the edges of the clouds. I'm going to say OK. That's it. So simple. Five minutes or less or you're working too hard. Now, if you go to my Instagram feed, you will see that I posted this image many moons ago. Go look at it. It's the Instagram at Rick Burris. You can see other pieces of my work there. But my wife and I joke that if I stick a moon in any image, my hits go way up. I don't know. People are lunatics. Enjoy this week's tip.